talk about the Waccamaw Area Heart Walk, we need to start with its staff. Meet one of them. Coming up next on Carolina People. Good morning. Welcome to Carolina People. This morning we're at Ripley's Aquarium, South Carolina's most visited attraction and an integral part of this Saturday's 2007 Waccamaw Area Heart Walk. We're focused on the walk and we're visiting with the Senior Director of Corporate Relations for the Waccamaw Area, Charlie Myrick. Good morning, Charlie. Good, Greg. Nice to Still meet you. Little tongue twisted on right. Wednesday morning early. I think it's all these beautiful well, fish out here. It's a little right? early, you know, but it's really nice. So. It is. It's it's nice, nice morning. Here. Yes, absolutely. It's been a great morning. We're expecting an even bigger morning this Saturday. Only three days to go. It's close. That's it's very right. close. That's very right. close. Yeah. Can folks really make a difference still in these last three days? Oh, definitely, because uh, most people really do their fundraising within the last two weeks. So you can go online. You can ask your friends, your family. There's all kinds of ways to fundraise. You still got time to even do a car wash, whatever you really? want to do yeah. to fundraise. So yeah, sure. you have plenty of time, and every dollar really, really counts. Right. Why? Well, we have uh, cardiovascular disease as the number one killer. Uh, strokes number three killer, right. and um, South Carolina is um, unfortunately leading the way in cardiovascular cardiovascular disease. So we really need to make a difference. Right. But we are making a difference. We have 22 uh, research grants here in South Carolina, totaling right. over three million dollars from funds that's raised in years past, 2006, 2007, right. at uh, Medical University of South Carolina, uh, University of South Carolina, and of course Clemson. And we're making some great research advances um, in cardiovascular disease and stroke. Right. Uh, we set some goals in 1999 to, to reduce cardiovascular disease by 25% by right. 2010. Right. And here we are in 2007, and we have reduced cardiovascular disease by 23%. Is that right? Yes. So, so we, we are almost right. there. And that's why we need everyone's help so much right. here in the Waccamaw area to, um, to help us reach those goals. So Absolutely. every dollar it really does count and it is making a difference and, and um, people are living longer living oh, yeah. healthier lives uh, and it's um, it, you may think that um, it's, a, it's a big scope and it is for the world right. but it comes all right back to us in oh, research yeah. and education and advocacy here in South Carolina folks still whether they've been raising money since the first of the year or whether they're raising money they're hearing you right now and saying get involved you can be out here this Saturday they can still make a difference yes definitely and and for those who say, well, I'm not on a team, I'm not, uh, I don't, maybe I'm retired or I'm, I'm not really involved, you still come out. Right. Uh, you can make a $25 donation and still get a T-shirt from Ripley's right, right. here, right here right at Ripley's. Here. Absolutely. And uh, you can walk, and just because you're not maybe working anymore or you're retired or you just want to just come out and have a good time, we have all right. kinds of things for the kids, jumping houses, right. face painting. We have a balloon uh, art, all kinds of things going on right. for the kids, and of course the wall. All right, Charlie, tell us about the wall. Well, this year the wall is going to be uh, even better than ever than before. We're going to have all kinds of things out there for the kids. We're going to have a bouncing house, a couple of those actually. We're gonna really? Have, yep. We're going to have face painting. It's going to be a balloon art. Of course, we'll have the walk. It's a three-mile walk that gets your cardiovascular going in, in that walk. Right. Uh, it's going to be lots of uh, um, information about the Heart Association, about how to live a healthier lifestyle, taking the pledge about living a healthier lifestyle, right. talking about foods you can eat to live a healthier lifestyle. And for the first time, we're going to have a whole new image called the START Image. The START program is a free walking campaign that was kicked off in, uh, in January. And right. we're going to have villages there at the walk this year for the oh, first come time. come on. Yeah. Villages? Little cool villages, yeah. yeah. And they're called uh, Create Hope, Inspire Change, and Celebrate Success. And it, Three separate villages. Yes. Create Hope. Inspire, change, and celebrate success. Yeah, and what that's going to do is uh, you can go to, to, to the different villages and learn more about, uh, like, as I just mentioned, about uh, correct foods to eat, how to exercise correctly, um, to just walk and just uh, take care of your health. And, of course, right. the doctors are uh, number one thing to oh, do yeah. as well. Get checked on. Well, Mark right. Krua earlier this week gave me this. Oh, yeah. This yes. man, I know you're going everywhere with your zone. It says start, walk more. 
plus eat well equals live longer. That's correct. Walk more plus eat well equals live longer, which is a great thing to know. Well, we, we know that if you, uh, if you go out and walk, if you exercise one hour a day, you get two hours of life back. Exactly. That's a very good deal. Wow. And exercise can be a brisk walk. And that is the easiest exercise that you can do is just right. get out and walk. Right. It clears your mind. You can have fun with your family, walk your dog. Just get out and walk and enjoy, and you'll see right. the inches and the pounds come off as long as you Great control point. your That's diet right. as well. well. That's right. That's a very good point. And, and we're also reaching out to companies that have... Uh, 5, 10, 20 employees and higher, right. talking about the START program, trying to get them involved in being fit and friendly companies. Right. And um, we do have a fit friendly company here in Horry County. Really? Yep. It's called uh, Horry Telephone. I think everyone knows Horry Telephone. HTC. Yeah, HTC. Course, yeah. And they were in the Wall Street Journal as a fit friendly company identified by the American Heart Association. Wow. On September 25th, a full page ad, and HTC was in that ad. That's tremendous. It is, and we are very excited to have them at the do a story company. about that. I don't think I knew about that. Well, you know, they are they really um, they care about the community and right. care about their employees, as most employers do. Oh yeah. And if other employers are interested in learning more about the Start program, it's a free uh, walking program right. that, that will bring out a kit to them and uh, tell them about the, uh, the walking program. It's a four-week challenge that starts off. The event. A four week challenge. Four week challenge. Great. And uh, all you have to do is walk. And we all can walk. So it's how tremendous. is that? Yeah. 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 And even for folks who can't walk, they can get around and support it. They definitely they can. can. Folks in uh, certain business are obviously difficult to get moving, but they can definitely support they the can. fight against heart disease and stroke. They can. And if they can't walk at work, they can also walk at home. Right. Or get right. involved at home. Get on a treadmill even. Treadmill, exercise, that's walking. correct. If a viewer needs to get off to work now or get family out to school, Charlie, what's the best phone number for someone to call to learn more about uh, the event, obviously, this Saturday? If they can't be out this Saturday, just to find a way that they can make a donation. Is well, you can always give us a call at 843-282-2907. Okay, my good. direct line. Great. I'd love good. to talk to them about it. You come out to the event. It's only three days away. Great. Um, if you're not already involved with a company or an organization, you come out as an individual. And uh, for $25 donation, Ripley's, great Ripley's here, right. will give you a T-shirt. Right. You can also do the three-mile walk right. and uh, learn more about um, how to protect yourself against cardiovascular disease and what the American Heart Association is doing to, with your dollars to help right. protect you. Very important. Also, for folks who think maybe they could raise $33, $35 a day between now and Saturday, if they get up to $100, they get another T-shirt. They certainly do. They do. a great opportunity. And it has the logos on the back of them, which, of course, uh, the Herald's on there, on there and right. Ripley's is on there. Absolutely. And we're very proud of those sponsors. They always yeah. help us out every year. And we have multiple oh, yeah. other ones as well. Georgetown Hospital or Georgetown Memorial Hospital System. Yes. That's right. Hopefully we'll see all the hospitals. I know Conway Medical Centers. Conway, Loris, out here. Grand, Loris Strand. Grand Strand. Obviously with the this community really does give back to the, the Heart Association. And we really oh, do yeah. appreciate that. And, and they know that we're spending their dollars wisely yes. in the research and education and advocacy. Right here in South Carolina to make a difference in South Carolina and in the United States and the world. Absolutely. Real quick yeah. about yourself, Charlie. Are you originally from the area? I am. I, I lived here for about 25 years. Oh, come on. Yeah. yeah I'm getting a little older, I guess. And yeah. uh, about 25 <laughs> years. And I moved away a few years ago. Big mistake. Um, and I recently came back to the Myrtle Beach area, which I will never leave again. Right. But once Good you get answer. the salt air in your blood, you can yeah. never leave again. And That's it was right. a big mistake. And this opportunity came available to me. Right. And um, to work with the Heart Association here in Myrtle Beach. Oh, yeah. And obviously, I love Myrtle Beach, know the area, and it's a great community. And I'm very happy to be back. And like I said, I will never, ever you got leave family again. Family in the area as well? Family in the area. That's right. correct. Yep. Mother, father, everyone's here in the area. So, yep. Love it very much. And that is fantastic. We know so much has to happen. When we speak about family, this is definitely a kids event, a family event this Saturday. Yes. A lot of folks will have family members out here. And of course, for folks who haven't been to Broadway at the beach in a while, 
It's a great opportunity to get out. The registration's at 8. Right. That's correct. And the walk kicks off at 9. That's right. The first loop, I believe, comes through here. It comes right through here. You get to tour through uh, Ripley's Aquarium here. Right. Uh, like I said, it's a three-mile walk. Right. We're going to have a, a live DJ playing all kinds of music, beach music, classic right. music, pop music. Um, there again, the, the, the bouncing house, the, right. um, the balloon art. Um, all kinds of things for people to do to learn about cardiovascular disease and how to take themselves. And, of course, the START campaign. Oh, absolutely. Let's talk a little more about the campaign. Of course, you said it's a, a kickoff right there for employers of all sizes. Right. And what we're, we're, we have a, we have a, uh, a tent, actually, it's called Take the Pledge. Right. And we'll take your picture there. And we want you to sign saying, I'm taking the pledge today to live a healthier lifestyle. Right. It's a kickoff on that day to say that... Um, Maybe I need to get out and exercise. I want to take care of my heart. Right. I don't want to uh, have heart disease. So I'm going to take the pledge today to live a healthy lifestyle through exercise. Right. And you don't have to worry about lifting weights or all the stringent things you have to do. Sure. You can just get out and walk. It gets your cardiovascular going that to, to protects your heart. Right. And uh, as we know, stroke and um, heart disease are number one and number three killers. Oh, yeah. And, um, it's the number one problem in the United States. Oh, yeah. Um, so we have to get out there, get off that sedentary lifestyle, right. and get out there and start walking and taking care of ourselves. It's you know, just that easy. Ann Lehman was sharing with us yesterday morning the incidences of heart disease in women. Yes. And the impact on women. For viewers who may have missed Ann yesterday morning, give them a sense of how this impacts women. It's not just a men's disease. Oh, it used to be known as a man's disease, but anymore it's a woman's disease. Right. Fifty-one percent of women die from cardiovascular disease. One in every two women. That's correct. Wow. That's correct. Wow. Versus one in 30 women who die from uh, breast cancer. Is that We hear right? so much about breast cancer, which is a terrible disease. Oh, of course. But yeah. more women die from cardiovascular disease than breast cancer. Than any, anything yeah. else is bad. Yeah. And um, we have our Go Red for Women campaign that comes out in February, which is a bring well, awareness. part of uh, this Saturday's event as well? Exactly. Go Red we'll have a Go Red right. campaign there as well. We'll have right. a Go Red dress there so you can see that. Get your picture taken that if you want to. But it's a cause awareness campaign so you can learn more for women to learn more about cardiovascular disease. As I just said, it's not just a man's disease right. anymore. It's more right. of a woman's disease. Oh yeah, Ann shared with us yesterday that she was actually born with a heart defect. Right. Which has impacted her forever. Obviously her entire life and something that runs in the family and something that everyone has to be careful about. And I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Ann's had four open heart surgeries. I think that's right. Yeah. And a lot of the research that has been raised through this community's dollars, yeah. Ann has benefited from that. Absolutely. And she that's will tell you that. I mean, well, she told you that. Oh, yeah. So, um, yes, she she and um, you know, that's fabulous. That's what brings it right back home as to, as to where the dollars are going. We could almost end the interview on that because it yeah. highlights the importance of day in and day out, even though we may not have an MUSC or USC or a Clemson, those dollars staying in the state, coming right back here to take care of folks our own. The gigantic cardiovascular uh, surgery unit up there at Grand Strand Regional. Fabulous. The expansion they've been making. That facility obviously very interested in fighting heart disease and stroke. And there are a tremendous number of folks that are staffed to help fight heart disease and stroke. What a great institution there. Oh, that, well, Doug White is definitely behind the Heart Association. Right. He cares a lot about our mission and supports our missions. Right. And Grand Strand uh, is a great hospital for, oh, yeah. for the heart, heart center up there. Right. And um, we, we really couldn't do a lot of things that we do here in the community without their support. Oh, yeah. And Conway's and, and Lawrence Conway and Georgetown. And I mean, Lawrence and all, Georgetown. Of, all of them. Absolutely. Definitely all of them. But uh, as I said, we're... Um, Everyone in this community is funding 22 research grants right. here in South Carolina, over $3 million. So That is incredible. 